18 games to go and a maximum of 34 points required for Leicester City to seal their Premier League return. A first league visit to Stoke City in over six years since late 2017 today. The Foxes are 11 points clear of third place Southampton and a third successive win will keep the chasing pack at bay. Both sides in their traditional home colours for this one. All kinds going off in the away end, away to our right-hand side. Blue smoke drifting across and out of the stadium as the sides line up in front of us here. 3,000 Leicester fans have packed in to the Caldwell construction stand away to our right-hand side. Let's hope they are cheering come the end of this one. Stoke have been out of the Premier League for quite some time now, haven't they, Jerry? You know, relegated at the end of 2018. Crowd still here in some numbers, but this feels a very different place to the cauldron it really was and the Pulis back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's a bit of a shame, you know, it's a really well won club with great owners. You know, similar to Leicester City, you have to say, and unfortunately for Stoke, they've had a bit of a mishmash in regards to, you know, the players that have come and gone. Uh, throughout this club, no real stability with the managers. Uh, and yeah, you know, it's a good stadium, great crowd, you got right behind the team. Uh, so yeah, you know, we can't worry about Stoke today, though, to be honest with you. Let's have to come here and do a job. But it would, it would be nice to see Stoke doing well in the near future. That's nice for sure. What do you want to see from a Leicester City point of view today? Maybe what can they improve on from that I last think, game I against you, Swansea? Yeah, I think if you're going back to the game on Tuesday night, and a bit more fluidity in the passing game, that is for sure. Uh, you no, know, they, they won the game quite comfortably on Tuesday night, but I think for Enzo, he wants to see free throwing football, cohesion throughout the throughout the, the thirds uh, in particular with them without the ball simple as that and if he gets that as I say Leicester should win this game we are about to get underway both sides have taken a knee in front of us here Leicester in blue get us underway and it's back here from Dhaka into Winks and Leicester looking to keep possession early on here with Ricardo Pereira who's always slotting into that midfield position it's with Vestergaard at the back here stepping forward with the ball the Dane across to Doyle Leicester inside their own half here on the left hand side now Keane and Dewsbury Hall drifting in field is Steffi Mavadidi so get their first touch on the ball and it's played across by Mehdi Ledis onto the left hand side for Lyndon Gooch who's a really adaptable player in this Stoke side he's played both fullback positions and on both wings as well but there's still a reverse ball forward here looking for the run of Jordan Thompson has gone through to Mads Hermanson. Back to Fass, who we heard from pre-match here, who was looking forward to this one, his first trip to Stoke. Forward into Dakar, back to goal inside the penalty area, being held there by Wilmot, back to the right-hand side, back up the line by McAteer, Ricardo into the middle towards Vestergaard. Winks, challenged quickly by Berger, nice give and go. Harry Winks on the edge of the area, plays it right here. Crossing position for Fatawu. He might go for goal instead, he does. And he wasn't far away from finding the target. A sighter for Leicester City, and one that whistled past the post from the returning Fatawu. Yeah, that's a great bit of play, isn't it? Especially between Winks and Ricardo. Harry Winks just lays it to the edge of the box for Fatawu. Jinx back inside on his left, favourite left foot he just makes himself half a yard and then let's fly Lewis gives it away here and Leicester could come forward now with Daka just inside the Stoke half on the left, twists and turns goes back to the centre circle now with Winks in field and back by Ricardo to Vestergaard Winks, Vestergaard looking right and plays a long diagonal it's a lovely ball as well onto the path there of Abdul Fatawu, the sporting loney. Ricardo, back wide here to Fatawu again. Gets it onto his left foot, bends it in now. Nodded on by Dewsbury Hall. Fine save by Bonham. And credit should be given there because it was a pinpoint header heading towards the top corner. Yeah. Somehow that was kept out. Yeah, good save from the keeper. Great, great ball out to begin this move, wasn't it? From... Uh, Vestergaard, the found Fatawi, brings in McAteer, them two interplay with each other. And then Fatawi just rips one into the box. 
Another in-swinger on the right-hand side. Bent in towards the run there of Doyle. Stoke able to clear and their fans want them to push out as soon as possible. They can see them getting deep again. Here's Winks. To the right he goes. And it's back inside the Leicester half. And Stoke haven't really pushed out and got themselves into an attacking kind of shape. It's a high ball over the top and Fatou down the right-hand side. Has it here, trying to run at Gooch. He's pulled right the way across and headed over by Dacca. Chances starting to arrive on a semi-regular basis now for Leicester, but it remains nil-nil. Yeah, great play again. This time Ricardo just floats one over the top for the runner for Talwi down the right-hand side. I actually thought after he took his first touch, he should have played it into the box with his right foot, but again he checks back onto his left foot, floats one to the back post, where Pats and Dackers are, but he just can't get the contact required to get it on target. It's with Hermanson at the back here. Winks. Being pressurised by Berger. They haven't quite gone man for man, have they, Stoke? But most of Leicester's key influence have, are being picked up. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. So stop Winks and Ricardo getting on the ball. Uh, and then press when the, if they play longer passes be the first one to try and win it Mavadidi's done really well here running away down the left hand side he's into the box as well Mavadidi cuts it back Dewsbury Hall got a touch on it he wasn't going on target but it may well have been tapped home with the far post by Dakar. Stoke had to take action and Thompson puts it behind for a corner yeah great play for Mavadidi been accustomed to seeing him down that left hand side haven't we you know I, I, you I'm not only that but, given, don't you? but a yellow card. I don't see how else you make that challenge, especially no. since he had studs down. Dewsbury Hall with a high ball in here. Chance at the far post. Oh, no. And Dakar makes it 1-0. Leicester profit and Stoke will be furious. Pats and Dakar pounces. His fifth championship goal this season. Leicester have had to bide their time. But when they got their opportunity, it was so simple in its creation. And Dakar was the man for that finish all right he makes it Stoke nil Leicester one yeah great awareness from Pats and Dakar good quick play Stoke caught asleep simple as that you know had a chance to win the ball turned it down when it came to Dewsbury Hall there was a challenge went in then the ball scoring free Nobody gets on to it apart from Drews Hall. He clips it in the box. There's one, two, three. Leicester City players in the box. Fatsu, 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 one of the first headers, should I say. And I think he's got to go for a goal. But no, he puts it back in the middle of the box and pats and Dakar. Bang, thank you very much. You've got to regroup as a team. You've got to accept the decision of the ref. Thompson, left-hand side here for Stoke. Campbell's inside the box and forces the save, the kick away from Hermanson. Stoke still coming. Pearson sets it here for Berger. Curling and drifting over. A good play from Stoke. To slice through Leicester's defence there. As you say, the ever dependable match, Hermanson just sticks out a big left leg. It's Thompson with the ball forward to Campbell. He's got the legs on Vestergaard. First time left foot shot. But Hermansen, he's been absolutely phenomenal this season for me. And yet again, he shows why with a really good stop there. It was unlucky. Right idea, as you said. Defender got himself in a good position to stop Mavadidi, you know, going 1v1 at him. Drews behind makes that inside forward run again. So it was the right idea from Mavadidi. Poor ball out here from Wilmot. Mavadidi onto it. He's racing away down the left. Little ball inside to Dewsbury Hall. Making himself available is McAteer. Edge of the area. Going for goal. Deflected in. It's 2-0 to Leicester. Two goals in the space of three minutes. And the Foxes well on the way once again. Wow. Well, Stoke again only have themselves to blame here. When Casey McIntyre picks that ball up, not one Stoke defender comes and closes him down. And Casey's looking for someone to pass the ball to, but because there's nobody near him, he goes, 
but I'll move forward with it. And he just keeps moving forward into a position and says, you know what, I might as well just have a, a strike off his left foot. Takes a wicked deflection, keeper goes one way, ball goes the other, into the back of the net. Thank you very much. And that's all Stokes down for our own doing. Dacker drops off the front, tries to leave it there for the forward run of Dewsbury Hall. We've seen that time and again. It's with Cundall now down the right, low ball into the middle. Good sliding challenge there by Ricardo. Had to be as well, because there's a runner in Gooch coming in from the left-hand side, ready to slide it in for 2-1. Here's Ledis on the right. Up against Dewsbury Hall, slides it into the box. Cundall plays it across again, away by Vestergaard. Kept in by Mavadini, but gives it back to Herber. Pearson. Herbert, Berger, Leris on the right, little zigzag there from Stoke. Berger right corner of the penalty area, hoist one in there, but no one was going to attack that. Ricardo was holding on to Gooch well enough there to keep him at bay. Yeah, it was well dealt with in the end. Good pressure again from Stoke. Great challenge from Ricardo. Benjamin Ho weaving his way inside off the left touch line. And by Kundal. Herber nearly losing it. He did lose it in the end. Dennis Pratt with a really smart turn away. The half-time substitute here. Who, from memory, I was here the last time Leicester played here in the third round of the FA Cup in 2021. I think he suffered quite a serious hamstring injury here. Seems to remember that he was out for a significant period of time after that. Hopefully, he can have a positive influence in this second half here. Ball played in behind, and Mavadidi onto it here for Leicester, he's through, one-on-one -on -one almost, and Stoke in the end just got back, and Kian Hoover with a goal-saving challenge, because Mavadidi was about to pull the trigger. Yeah, it's great defending by Hoover, what a ball from Harry Winkshill to split that Stoke defence in two. Mavadidi through one-on-one, -on -one, but Hoover doesn't give it up, that's a great challenge, right at the end. Wilmot. To the right into Herver. Forward towards Andre Vidigal, aggressively challenged by Fass. Dewsbury Hall. To Mavadidi on the left, back to Dewsbury Hall. And Mavadidi away now down the left. He's been pulled back there as well. Still Mavadidi into the penalty area. Up against Herver again now. Mavadidi curling one pushed away. And the rebound couldn't be turned home by Dakar. It's behind for a goal kick. Yeah, good play. Great play between Mavadidi and Dewsbury Hall. Tease and Stoke. Well, they're into play. Jewsby Hall just sets Mavadidi away down the left-hand side. So there weren't any major incomings at Leicester in the end. The main news of the last month, the retirement of Alex Smithies. Everson came here to Stoke and Luke Thomas switched Sheffield United for Middlesbrough. Oh, a chance there and bottom closed down very quickly indeed by Dakar. He was so close to turning it inside the post behind. He went for a goal kick. It could have been more. Yeah. Playing with fire. Bonham. And Rosen, honestly. Dakar, brilliant work from him to close him down. Ricardo. Leicester just keeping things nice and simple here. Fast. Now stepping forward 10, 15 yards up towards the edge of the area. Still fast. He's going a long way. Foul fast into the area. Goes down. And it's a penalty to Leicester City. A chance for a third. And that was all about the wonderful, amazing run from Valfas. Incredible stuff from Valfas. He picks that ball up about 45 yards out from goal. And he just keeps charging forward. Great close control by him, you have to say. But again, Stokes sort of don't lay a finger on him. Until he's in the box and Jordan Thompson comes across. Well... Leicester have had a few penalty takers this season. Dewsbury Hall scored one, Mavadidi two, Vardy two, Ian Acho two. Passendak has scored one, and he's got a chance for another here. Stoke fans have already left after they saw that penalty given. There'll be a few more leaving if this one hits the net. Dakar has won. Looking to get himself on the score sheet once again. It is going to be the Zambian from 12 yards. Takes a couple of steps to the left, steps up to it now. Patson Dakar! Points in the bag for Leicester City again. A third goal, and he's head over heels about it as well. 
celebrates in front of the travelling foxes. It is their day here in the Potteries. Yeah, clinical finish from Dakar. Seals the points for Leicester, no shadow of a doubt. If it wasn't already looking comfortable for Leicester, then they can sit back in the rocking chairs, pipe and slipper style now. Really cool penalties. We watch the replay now. Yeah, sends the keeper the wrong way into the corner, just lifted it slightly. Yeah, clinical. Oh. Just no need for Vass to do that. And they could be in down the right, just in. Vardy's wasting in the middle, yeah. just into Vardy! 4 0! It's an absolute rout here in the Potteries. Leicester filling their boots, and Jamie Vardy gets the Leicester fans celebrating on their feet again. He's only been on a minute, but what a ball that was from James Justin. Oh, incredible. Incredible ball from Justin. He just takes one look up. It's led into a path. He doesn't need a touch because he's running on to it. And he absolutely thunders it across the goal. And Jimmy Vardy has just pulled off to the back post. Six yards out. Thank you very much. I'm not missing that. Fans heading for the exits. Those who had decided to stick this one out. They can't see their side humiliated anymore now. And Leicester heading towards their joint biggest win of the season overall. Leicester about to sweep another team aside. Got the most points and the most wins in the club's history after this amount of games. And the most since Reading under Steve Coppel in 2005-06. Ball in here for Stoke. Are oh, they going to get one back? They're going to try and force it home. Scrambled away. I think there was an amazing save by Hermanson in amongst that scramble. Somehow it stays at 4-0. Only Stoke know how they haven't scored there. And a follow-up header will go wide. It's been kept in by Ennis on the left-hand side. Back out to Bay Junho. Bay into the area, cleared away by Pratt. Yeah, great defender from Leicester, and especially spot on Mats Herbson. One-handed save, claws it out. And Leicester somehow scramble that chance away. Ricardo turning in midfield, fouled by Lowe. A big applause from Maresca towards his goalkeeper, having kept Leicester's clean sheet intact there as we watch the replay. It's John Holt. It's a clear shot comes in from, I think it's, uh, it's a Thompson. So the Thompson, or, yeah, I think it was Jordan Thompson. Who, who, no, he took the free kick, didn't he? Thompson, couldn't have been him. <laughs> Lowe tries to carry it away, didn't see the challenge from Ricardo coming, Dewsbury Hall. To the left-hand side, slipped into the air, Dewsbury Hall goes again, oh. saved this time by Bonham. It's a nice through ball there by Fatawu. Thought it was going to be five. Yeah, fancy Dewsbury Hall, clear side of goal, but fair play to the keeper. It's back here with Ricardo. Into midfield to Dewsbury Hall, lays it off to Pratt, helps it to the right-hand side now to Justin. Bends it over for the run here of Winks, who's in the area on the left. Plays it back to the edge of the area. Doyle winding up for the shot, and it whistles past the far post. Yeah, great effort from Doyle. Again, brilliant football. It's lovely to watch from Leicester. Bonham with a long ball back. High towards low. And now Leicester have it down the left-hand side. And two forward here. In the middle, Dewsbury Hall trying to pull it back. And he does to Pratt, who puts it over. And it was tipped over or deflected over as well. Because the referee has given a corner. Yes, yeah, to see it from Bonham. Again, Dewsbury Hall. What a ball. Inch perfect for the oncoming Dennis Pratt. He's making a rudge from the edge of the box. You know your side about if you're leaving that early. Ball bent in here. Dewsbury Hall heads away. Condell on the edge of the area, touches it down to Berger. They've left themselves open to a counter here, Stoke, if Leicester 
Well, to win it back quickly like they've done here with Fatou, who just can't quite carry the ball with him, but he's got it back now, and Leicester have got a four-on-one, Winks is free in the middle, he's played two Winks, he gets the ball, Vardy trying to stay on side, Vardy in the box now, it could be five! Over it goes, and it should have been five as well for Leicester. Well, uncharacteristic of Vardy there. Fancied him, even though it was on his left foot, Harry Winks just slides him in. And the referee now just waiting for the clock to hit six to blow the full-time whistle. To end a very successful day for Leicester once again. High ball forward. Last Leicester attack and Vardy nods it on here. And Dewsbury Hall, could he be five? It's Dewsbury Hall, he goes down in the box and it's another Leicester penalty. And they will have the chance for a historic fifth goal. Again, incredible work from Jamie Vardy. It's just a clearance from Hamza Chaudhary. He just punts it up the pitch. 2v1. Vardy wins the first contact. Flicks the ball into the path of Jewsby Hall. Defender tries to get back. Pearson, is it? Not Pearson, no. Sorry. Rose tries to get back. Third play the ref. Look who's taking the penalty. And from the spot, it will be Jamie Vardy. He netted five minutes into added time against Watford earlier this season. And Vardy here, rifles it in. Leicester have five. And Stoke City have been crushed. Vardy has come on and made his point and gives some back to the Stoke fans in that corner of the ground as well. This man has still got time left in those legs yet. Not the greatest penalty, but enough to beat the goalkeeper who went the right way. Yeah. And it is 5-0 to Leicester, their biggest championship win of the season yet. And the Potters have been well and truly smashed. 5-0, it finishes to Leicester City. The boos ring out, but the cheers from the Leicester fans in the corner. As many of them as there are Stoke fans left in the stadium and all the other sections around us here. And Leicester more than emphatic winners. 2-0 it was at half-time after goals from Dakar and a deflected effort from Casey McAteer. Dakar with the first penalty on 66. Vardy came on and scored after three minutes on 73 to make it four. And a penalty eight minutes into added time. Makes it 5-0, Leicester's biggest win since the 9-0 down at Southampton over four years ago. Their biggest win home and away this season.